In today's episode of the Hexagon Challenge, we wrap up the mid-season transfer window and we also have a trip to Bogota FC in the league. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hexagon Challenge here on Sean Does FM. I hope you are doing well. If you are new to the channel then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to keep up with the videos in this Hexagon Challenge. And since you were last here in episode 25 which was the first stage final here in the second division of Colombia. If you have not checked it out then please do we have had a transfer window so that is what we're going to cover firstly today some of these transfers we covered were gonna happen in previous episodes and a few others we have done more recently so we will cover them off first we'll go through the outs one payers went out on loan uh, he's a young 20 year old center and right back who can also play cdm probably a player we're going to look to move on at some point he's only got three star potential ability he is venezuelan so he takes up one of our foreign spots when he will get over the 20 year old threshold but he isn't in our first team picture so we have loaned him out one Shavira, our former goalkeeper we explained this deal he went for 150,000 at the start of the transfer window as did all johan gomez a striker those are two deals that we have already gone through, so I won't go into too much detail about those. A couple, uh, these four we've also discussed previously, players leaving on free transfers. More recently, Mateo Garcia, a midfielder. We sold him to top division team Haguarias de Cordoba. As you can see, he's a decent player. He was two star, two star, they think he is now, compared to our squad at the time. For most of the year, we thought he was free start. We've got 100,000 for him, rising up to 115,000 as long as he plays 10 league games. And yeah, we're getting paid for each league game as well. Valued at 140, so we might have undersold there. I was under the impression he was worth 100,000 when he was here. Look, he was a player who wasn't going to get much game time the way our uh, midfield stocks have been rising in terms of the young players coming through. So I thought we'd get rid of him while we still could. And on a similar boat, Alma Salas, a player who has been sitting on the pine and when he's got a chance, hasn't really been doing much. 75,000 rising up to 115,000, the exact same additional bonuses as long as he plays 10 league games. Then we're going to get extra 40,000. He has gone off to the Mexican Expansion League. He was a bench option. I thought I could improve. In the end, I didn't, which was a bit of a frustrating thing. But for the money we were going to get for him, he didn't have much improvement in him. I thought we would get rid of him while we could, especially if we can get that 115,000. Now, in terms of ins, I went for a few areas that we were looking to strengthen in last episode at the end of it. So we'll start with the one that I heavily suggested would happen. One, Jose Martinez, the centre-back joining us from Boyaca Chico. Three and a half star, current ability with a bit more potential. We spent 400000 on him. Not cheap at all, but as you can see, it's not much over his, his current value. So I think we've done all right there. We had to give him an important player, but he is without a shadow of a doubt. An upgrade on what we did have in terms of our other centre-back in Ordinez. So quite happy with that deal, and that is in fact the only deal that we've spent money on this window. So you see we've kind of covered the cost halfway. We might have to pay him 700,000 um, in add-ons, but compared to the add-ons that we've been doing in our outs, those add-ons are unlikely to happen. I may have watched a Zealand video last episode, if you couldn't tell, because that's something that he's brought up recently. Um, and the rest of these are all free transfers. So, striker, we ended up with Lucas Bissozzi, the Argentinian 22-year-old. As you can see, on a free transfer, he is being paid a quite hefty wage for a squad player, but was a definite upgrade from the rest of our bench options in this position. Really good finishing. He's good at first touch, heading. He's Good in pretty much every area I want him to be. Jumping reach, maybe not so much. But 
I like him as a backup striker. I think he'll do a good job for us. Now, I did hint that Para would be a good option. I would have liked to get Para, but one, he is worth quite a bit and we don't have the money. And two, he has just suffered, I'll go back to the screen, an injury, a hip injury. He is out for three to five months. I think we might have dodged a bullet there, people. Um, yeah, it wasn't the plan, but I think we've got away with it there by not getting Para. So Basozzi will be our backup striker. Diego Barrios is a young midfielder, Uruguayan. We picked him up on a free, two and a half star with some potential to get up to possibly four and a half. You look at him, he's pretty well rounded, especially in the mentals and the physical stats. He looks like he is a player of a bit of promise. So he will be in and around the first team, might make the appearance off the bench or when we need to do some rotation. A good pickup on a free transfer, I'd like to think. Bredu Giraldo, uh, this guy, I can't actually remember signing this guy from being blunt. Maybe I thought he was a bit better than he was, but either way, another free transfer, a left wing option. He's one for the future at 20 years old. Maybe he's a guy that we can flick on for a little bit of profit. Picking him up on a free, he's not on much wage. Yeah, expect him to just be living in the under 20s. And more recently, Leo Chu on the left wing. I thought this guy was better than he was because he's our subless replacement. As you can see, he probably isn't much better, which is a bit of a shame, but he is going to take that bench role from Salas. Brazilian winger. He's not a bad player. He's got some decent stats. He looks solid. The plan was to go after a guy called Rafael Benitez. This Rafael Benitez, of course, we saw him last episode in the highlights package before that final game. He scored a few goals against us for Bogota, today's opposition. He was available on a free transfer because his contract ran out with Bogota. I went in for him. I offered him a squad player role, but um, and he accepted it after the first time I went in for him. He only wanted important. As you can see, he's valued at 1.5 million. He would have been a brilliant bench option, but he went to America de Cali as a breakthrough prospect and is sitting in the under 20s for the most part. They are, of course, in the top division, so he decided the rising division would suit him more. That would have been a nice one to get, but in the end, we have ended up with Leo Chu. So that is our transfer work for now. Pretty quiet window, what that means for the general team. Only one change in the starting 11. Martinez comes into centre-back and Ordinez drops to the bench with Hurtado going back in, uh, into the reserves. And apart from that, are Chu and Besozzi are the players coming into the bench. Salas obviously is gone, so he's out. And Arias slash Rodriguez Basozzi will be in over. Otherwise, it's the exact same 11. So we've only made one starting lineup change, so it shouldn't impact things too much. One game to start off the second phase season. It was at home against Boca Juniors de Cali. It is exactly the same schedule as last season for the most part, or well, the first half of the season. A 2 1 win which was a bit scratchy where it probably didn't need to be. If you look at the stats, we absolutely pummeled them. Venegas, to be fair to him, should have really got a hat trick. We had a goal ruled out for offside that I didn't think was offside. We went 1-0 down in the first half, but came back. Now, I will mention this is the first game or first games I'm playing. Just earlier today, the winter update dropped for FM21. It still seems as though this tactic's working pretty well. You look at those stats and... Yeah, we just weren't clinical enough. We, had, we missed some absolute sitters in this game. Luckily, though, we still got the job done, and we probably took a few too many long shots as well, but we'll show you the goals. So we were absolutely dominating up until the 38th minute, and then out of nowhere, Boca Juniors to Kelly, a nice ball in. It catches Romani Edmonds green off, and Ramirez buries that bottom right corner, but then Hernan Venegas clicked in the gear in the second half after I gave the boys a bit of a wind-up at halftime. A nice ball from Marilanda. Benegas gets on the end of it, puts that in the bottom right. And then at the 74th minute mark, Roman to Caicedo. Venegas running up, running onto one. Taps it in off Arago because looked like he got a foot to it. But either way, he got a double. He missed an absolute sitter in the first half, so he really had to pay me back. But we did get a win in the end. And considering those stats, you'd have to say we did deserve it. It would have been pretty hard to take if we did not win that game and I would have not been too happy with the game update but we'll crack into this game uh, we won't look at the league table because we've only played one game in this stage of the season 
But Gotta FC did draw their first game, though. That was against Villa Dupa, a team who struggled in the first half of the season. And we have television coverage for this game. But Gotta with a 4 4 2. Now, this is a team who, when we have played them in the past, have scored quite a few goals. So that's something to look out for. There's our team. Um, unfortunately, the names don't show up on that black. But as I said, it was the lineup I showed you previously with the new boy coming in at centre back for Ordinez. Martinez, that's his name. I'll get there eventually. We will be in our mostly black with a red stripe and Bogota in, uh, in yellow with a red hoop around them. Their sh jersey, I should say. And we are kicking off playing right to left. It goes up to Labastidas early and he will look to dash in the field. Tries to find Maralando for ball. It's headed away and a quiet start. Two minutes gone. It's still nil all here. Although Bogota do have a free kick. Mosquera, Sinistera is able to head that clear. Azulio plays it back to Mena. He finds uh, Moreno Mosquera, who's on the edge of the box, finds another long name, but in the end, the shot is wide. And after five minutes, it will remain nil all, but they have another highlight here, Bogota. So they're starting off nicely in terms of position for Leno. Tries to find a player up front, but Martinez cuts that out, and we will have possession. Loman. Edmonds green up to Ulego. Maralanda now. Cuts inside Orego. Now over to Acosta. He finds Maralanda inside the box, but into the side netting. I have noticed a few more shots going into the side netting early doors, so hopefully it doesn't turn back into FM20 after eight minutes. Nil all. Corner in the ninth minute. Acosta's going to put this in. And Martinez, he, he did that back to Labastidas, but his shot blocked, and now Suarez will find Acosta, and he's in acres of space. He can put in a dangerous one here, but it's cut out. And Osorio clears, although we cut that out again. Roman, is something going to come from this or not? Up to Labastidas, back to Roman, Ulego. Through to Marilanda, can he take advantage of the keeper being off his line? You bet he can, just inside the near post. And we are one nil up after 10 minutes. A much better start than our first game of the season. I mean, of the second phase of the season. I'm going to get caught up on that because of the Colombian uh, league structure. But nice ball here from our midfielder, Christian Olego, And it's tucked away. Pinpoint accuracy by Yassid Marilanda. One nil after 10 minutes. And Bogota FC will get us back underway. Good start. I have noticed in that first game our front three did play quite well. So hopefully that can continue. Those three have been key for us in the season so far. And oh, that's a bit messy, but we've cleared it. A decent chance there for Bogota, but it will remain 1-0 as we come up to quarter of an hour. Long throw time. 22 minutes gone. It's into Venegas. He pays that back for Sinister, and it's taken a very good save from Moville to keep that out. That looked like it was going top left corner. But good save from the Bogota goalkeeper. Labastidas whips one in. It is kept out for now. Back to Suarez. Labastidas. Sinistera gets his head to that one, but straight at the goalkeeper. Moville de dealing with some good efforts by Sinistera. It will remain 1-0. But we have another highlight. Labastidas giving the ball away, though. And this could be for Bogota, it looks like. As he's done our defender there, Mejia. A block shot and Moreno Mosquera blasts one wide. Plenty of action, but it remains 1 0. And a throw in only up to the 28 minute mark now. Orlego plays it back. This is going to go to Acosta, the goalkeeper, though, just committing to it in time. And maybe it will be something for Bogota here. The goalkeeper clears it. And maybe it won't be because it's straight at Loman. He whips one down the right to Labastidas who tries to size his man up, gets around him, but the ball is headed away, but Suarez ties up, Orego, Marilanda, Acosta now down the left, he finds Marilanda again, can he get a double, not yet, it's a good save, and it's cleared by the Bogota defence, for a corner, half an hour gone now, Labastidas puts one in, Martinez can't get his head to that, Suarez is now going down the right hand side, our captain at the moment, but it's not a good ball. Although we will be able to tidy up that header from Bogota. And that is the end of the highlight. Still one all after half an hour. 35 minutes we're coming up to now. And Acosta puts a nice long throw in. 
Mena is able to head that away. It'll be interesting to see if they've uh, fixed long throws in this win winter update. Feels a bit weird to, for me to be saying winter update. Of course, I am in New Zealand, if you don't know, and it's still summer over here, really, so I'm sort of having to work on the opposite land, if that, that makes sense. Uh, a shot there from Venegas is blocked, and that looks like it will be the highlight at the 35-minute mark, and it is. It remains 1-0 to Kakuta Deportivo. Throw in at the 40 minute mark is to Bogota. Maralanda, our goal scorer, is carrying an injury. Hopefully, he can last till half time because I've only just noticed that. We do find Venegas, though, on the left hand side. A good long ball there. And he sizes the defense up, plays it back to Olego, and now to Acosta, who does a bit of dribbling. Olego again puts a ball in its headed clear out to Sinistera. Suave is Roman. They knock it about with each other. Up to Sinistera now, and those three. Our midfield is just having a good little period with the ball. Labastidas with a header, and that nearly caught Movil out, but it forces another good save out of the Bogota goalkeeper. 1 0. Can we. No, we can't. Edmonds Green hits the corner over the bar. We've been pretty dominant here, but not making the most of our chances at the moment. Still 1-0, and Bogota looked like they have a highlight right before half-time, although they've given it to us, although we've given it back to them, so God knows what's happening here. Moreno Mosquera now has the ball for them. Mena Palacios, back to Mena, up to Moreno Mosquera. Mena again, play it back to Palacios. Olivar, Victoria, Osorio. Osorio. Palacios, Victoria. Now they get it out back out to Moreno Mosquera. It's a cross. It's not dealt with. Not sure who missed the header there. If it was Edmonds Green, he hasn't started off a season or second phase of the season very well. But just like that, their first shot on target here, Bogota, and it's a goal for them. Cross. Yeah, he has missed the header. I don't think Roman's covered himself in glory there either. And Azorio at the far post puts one away. And rather undeservingly, we are one all here, and in the way that we should really be doing better than one all. Maybe, just maybe, you get FM more with this new winter update, because it's feeling a bit like that at the moment. But, we're definitely creating chances. I would like to think that we can strike back at them again in the second half. Or we'll tell the boys we're not happy... Suarez is having a wee sulk. That works. And we will just make a change, actually. That's something we will need to do because Maralanda is a potential knee injury. And that means we're going to give our new lad, Leo Chu, a run on the left wing. Hopefully that will do. Edmonds Green. Just wondering if we take him off. I think we'll leave it for now. Will we? Yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay, we'll leave him for now, and if he has another cock up, I think we'll have to pull him. But that will do for now. Just chew for Maralanda, and hopefully we can get the lead back in the second half. We are playing left to right, but Bogota will start with the ball, and they knock it about in the defense, but no highlight coming from it. And now we have a throw in. Roman puts it in deep. Martinez tried to get his head to it, but Moville claims it. And they send it deep to Bogota, straight to Roma, now right back. He finds Sinistera and looks to make a run himself. Ulego, Labastidas, good tackle. And Labastidas is through now, but it's another really good save by Movil. He's having a blinder in goal for Bogota. It could be quite a few to one, but he's keeping them in this. Evans Green gets his head to that. The direction was all right, but unfortunately it was too high and it will remain one all. Really need to be more clinical at the moment, we do. But from that goal kick, they will find a Costa, so we might have another chance here. And we chew getting involved. Oh, it was a nice ball, but Labastidas just didn't quite get onto it. I think he, they were playing him offside there anyway. They have cut it out, so we might have another chance yet here. Venegas hits the post with a decent long shot. We finally beat the keeper, and it hits the post. Boy, we're creating, but we're not clinical enough. It will remain one all. And now we have a long throw at 53 minutes. What can we do here? It's a penalty. Someone's been pushed in the back. It was Hernan Venegas, pushed over by 
for Lelo, and this will be Jean Labastides taking the penalty. Can he bury this? No, he can't. That is a terrible penalty straight at the goalkeeper. And boy, are we looking like we are trying to drop points today. That's really poor. Uh, yeah, it remains one all after 63 minutes. And now Bogota will have a throw in. It is cleared out by our defence, but they will get another chance here. And Moreno Mosquera holds the ball up. Palacios in acres of space is allowed to put a cross in, but we do hit it clear only as far as the Bogota midfield, though. Mosquera, he does. A Costa, I believe, on the left. That has blocked that attempted cross. And now it goes back to Guzman. He's found Olate. A block. And Acosta clears. I think we'll demand more from the boys. Or maybe we won't quite yet. As we now have a long throw. Maybe we can get another penalty. Because we don't look like doing much else. Oh, come on, Vinay. Yes, it's the post with an open goal. Oh, boy. We are blowing some chances here today. Um... Time to make some subs, I believe. Alan Suarez is having a bit of a stinker. 6.4. We will take Kais or put Kaiseido in for him. I'm just looking at what else we could do here to fire things up. Uh, Chu's playing very averagely. Do we give our new lead a go? I think Venegas, he's had a few chances, but he's not far away from putting one away. Labastides missed a penalty. We might make a change, but I will actually take Edmonds Green off with that yellow card. What we'll do is tell ordinaries to not ease off tackles. And hopefully we can create, well not even create more chances because we're creating enough chances, it's just putting them away, which is the issue. One all with 25 minutes to go. Free kick Acosta can be good at these. This time it clatters straight into the wall, but Caicedo with fresh legs is able to tidy up. He plays it back to Lomar. Really, we just need a shot to be aimed at the back of the net. We have quite a few, to be fair. It's just that the goalkeeper has dealt with most of the dangerous ones. Oh, Labastida has played in nicely, but that is a really poor effort. Missing his shooting boots today. It remains one all with 10 minutes to go. Now Urego's carrying an injury. Uh, what do we do here? I think we need to start going attacking, boys, and we might even play slightly more direct. We are playing more. We'll play more direct and see if that works but we're just not finishing our dinner at the moment you see the stats we are well and truly being fm'd here oh, oh and now it's a throw in for bagotta as i was about to tell the boys to fire up but we do get the ball off it and labastidas now can he do something play across no tackle not a penalty victoria clears it but it will go out to martinez and we are now right on the brink of full time and it's all over a one-all draw against Bogota, and you have to say we deserve more than that. A missed penalty by Jean Labastides proving quite costly. We had to take Marilanda off. Well, I say we did. We didn't really, really have to take him off, but it's early on in the second stage of the season, and caution felt like the best option. But a game in which we absolutely hammered them, but for the second game in a row, not scoring as much as we should be. So the start to the second half of the season. Hasn't been as good as it was early doors. Oh, Harlan, can you man up a bit, man? Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him because he was quite poor today, so I'm not gonna sugarcoat things. We need to be doing better than that, boys. So what that means is we are two points off the leaders, of course, only two games gone, but yeah, a game that we really should be winning, you can see Orzo Marzo have started things off very well, a 4-0 win over Boca, de Jun uh, Boca Juniors to Cali, so maybe they're going to be the team to watch yet again, yeah, playing well without scoring, that seems to be our issue at the moment, that will do for today's episode, hopefully you enjoyed that transfer roundup and our first live commentary of the season, maybe just maybe things aren't going to go so smoothly with a game update thrown into the mix for the second part of our season here in Colombia. In terms of next episode, we will be back not too far from now. What I'm going to do is record a couple of episodes tomorrow, real lifetime. Um, we'll probably have to split these Atletico National Cup games by episode, just with what's going on in between them. And there's an Orzo Marzo game as well. So 
maybe that will be a double header. I will see what I can come up with there. But those cup games against Atletico Nacional, one of the biggest teams in Colombia, are definitely the priority over the next month. And hopefully we can chug along nicely in the league and start putting our shots in the back of the net because that has been the problem in these first two games. But if you have enjoyed today's episode, then make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have not already, then please do subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. And until tomorrow's episode, which will be Atletico Nacional away in the Colombian Cup second round first league. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.